Time now for the morning rush. Balloon Fiesta organizers say they will be almost back to normal this year. As of right now, there will be no capacity restrictions or any COVID related rules. Organizers say that Music Fiesta and Balloon Discovery Center are the only two events not happening this year. Balloon Fiesta runs from October 2nd through the 10th. While the water has receded in most areas around Boulain, cleanup continues this morning. One resident says the last time floods hit, it took months to fully get the caked up mud and clay out of her yard, and now it's back. Boulain's mayor says they developed a long term fix, a diversion channel that would keep water from hitting the High Line Canal. The city of Santa Fe is working to address complaints about weeds along the city's medians. Many are worried the weeds are a bad look for the city. A special weeds action team was started to zero scape hard to maintain medians and cover others with cement. Meanwhile, here in Albuquerque, work is being done to improve the medians along Coors Boulevard. The DOT is improving the median along Coors between Montano and St. Joseph's. The left lane will be closed in both directions from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. Work is scheduled to last through July 23rd. Erica. Here's a look at the morning commute forecast. Temperatures are in the upper 60s, low 70s this morning. We're going to warm up very quick through the day. Skies are going to be staying clear with no rain in store. This morning, the chief of New Mexico State Police is thankful that one of his officers is alive. Last week, Officer Ray Montoya responded to the call at the Dollar General in Pecos. State Police say Isaac Valencia first tried to take off and then pointed a loaded gun at the officer's face. After a struggle, the officer was able to gain control of the gun and arrest Valencia. The Hatch Chili Festival is, has announced that it will skip 2021. Organizers say that even though there are no more COVID restrictions on mass gatherings in the state, there's not enough time to plan the festival, which normally happens in late summer. Bernalillo County is holding public meetings to develop a plan to preserve and highlight where some of our state's earliest settlements began. El Camino Real de Tierra Adentro is a 1,600-mile trail stretching from Mexico City to northern New Mexico. The county has launched an entire website surrounding the trail. Erica. All right, here's a look at the Metro Threat Index. It's low today. We will see hotter temperatures, so take breaks from that afternoon heat, and we could see an evening sh thunderstorm. An Albuquerque man is in custody after he is accused of shooting at a car and then trying to carjack other drivers in Santa Rosa. According to state police, 26 year old Adam Romanek stole his father's car was par and then parked on Highway 84, shooting at a passing car. No one was hurt. Police apprehended him, and that was after a foot chase through a nearby field. A NEW MEXICO CITY IS WANTING EVERYONE TO BE ON A FIRST NAME BASIS. THE CLOVIS CHAMBER OF COMMERCE IS SPONSORING A CAMPAIGN BY PRINTING UP BUTTONS THAT THEY WILL SAY, HELLO, MY NAME IS. PEOPLE WHO LIVE IN CLOVIS, WHO LIVE IN CLOVIS, I'm RATHER, ARE ENCOURAGED TO ORDER A BUTTON WITH THEIR NAME ON IT, FREE OF CHARGE, TO WEAR AROUND TOWN. BUSINESSES LOOKING FOR PROPERTY IN ALBUQUERQUE WILL HAVE IT A LITTLE BIT EASIER. IT'S WITH A NEW TOOL FROM THE CITY'S ECONOMIC DEVELOPMENT DEPARTMENT. ABQSITES.COM IS A DATABASE THAT SHOWS AVAILABLE PROPERTIES AROUND THE CITY AND IT HIGHLIGHTS THE QUALITIES OF EACH. Erica. HERE'S A LOOK AT THE MORNING DRIVE. Uh, THE MAPS ARE COMPLETELY CLEAR RIGHT NOW. NO ACCIDENTS OR SLOWDOWNS TO REPORT. AND HERE'S A LOOK AT TRACKER GOING WEST ON I-40 NEAR UNIVERSITY. IT'S A QUIET MORNING. YOU WON'T FIND ANY ISSUES FOR THAT COMMUTE. Cameras are rolling right now in a film about life on the Navajo Nation. Fry Bread, Face and Me is filming up in Santa Fe, Española, and in Albuquerque. The film will employ about 40 New Mexico cast and crew and 30 background talent from the state. Welcome back. On this day in 2006, it was the highest one-day rainfall in Farmington. 1.75 inches of rain was measured. Time now for the five facts. At number five this morning, cameras are rolling right now in a film about life on the Navajo Nation. Fry Bread Face and Me is filming in Santa Fe, Española, and Albuquerque. The film features an 11 year old boy who's sent to his grandmother's ranch on the Navajo Reservation, and he's introduced to a new way of life as well as taught about the importance of family and tradition. That film will employ about 40 New Mexico cast and crew, along with 30 background talent from the state. Number four now, businesses looking for property in Albuquerque will have a little bit easier chance of doing it with the new tool from the city's economic development department. ABQSites.com is an interactive database that shows available properties around the city and highlights the qualities of each. This can include location, demographics, and nearby attractions. The hope is to attract businesses from out of state and also help local businesses expand or relocate to fit their needs. And at number three, the monsoon meter is the lowest it's been in a few weeks, only at a two. That means drier skies across the state. We'll be seeing showers and storms popping up in the northern West Mountains and the San Juan Mountains and moving into the adjacent lower terrain. But most of eastern and southern New Mexico is going to be staying dry. 
Number two, now a New Mexico signature event is back on for this year as Balloon Fiesta organizers say they will be almost back to normal. As of right now, there will be no capacity restrictions or any COVID related rules. More than 600 balloons are already signed up to fly for the event. Organizers say only two features will not be happening this year. Those are the Music Fiesta and Balloon Discovery Center. Organizers recommend that unvaccinated people wear masks. Balloon Fiesta runs from October 2nd through the 10th. Tickets are already on sale. You can find a link for that on our website, always on krqe.com. And at number one this morning, while the water has receded in most areas around Berlin, the cleanup does continue. Now, one resident says the last time the floods hit, it took months to get the fully get the caked up mud and the clay out of her yard, but now it's back. This time, even in her home. Now, Berlin Mayor Jared Cordova says they developed a long-term fix, which is a diversion channel that would keep the water from hitting the High Line Canal. Cordova says that it would cost about 65 million dollars, and they are still working on funding for that project. Again, we are going to continue. Keeping an eye on the cleanup efforts down in Berlin.